Okay, so I mentioned in my last video about my fertilizers I use. And I for didn't really cover that that well, so these are my fertilizers. I have my coffee grounds and tea leave ground mix. My banana peel, my Epsom salt, and this is a miracle Grow commercial fertilizer that my mom had before me, Aubrey, you zoomed in. Don't zoom in. And then, yeah, that's why it's in a Ziploc bag. But hey, at least it has the directions on it. One tablespoon per gallon of water. But, my, this fertilizer that I use has the coffee grounds and tea leaves in it. And what I do is my boyfriend works early morning or late night, so he's always making big batches of coffee. And so what I'll do for that, should have pulled it out, I didn't. I need to turn this off. That is loud. Is, where is it? Is it in here? Yes. I will grab one of my pizza sheets Set my oven to the lowest setting, which on mine is 170, I believe. And then I'll put, actually, do we have coffee cups? I could just show you right now. I would love to be able to do it in my dehydrator. I have to figure out how to do the ground. Level. But, sorry about the noise. I take my pizza sheet and it's just we got this from family dollar i think so cheap pizza sheet i cook pizza on this i cook everything on that thing i take a couple paper towels easy clean up i am a lazy person and i will lay them down on the pizza sheet now I'll just take this over to the stove because it happens to be situated right next to the garbage can. So there's a lot of ways you can use coffee grounds. You can put it directly on your garden wet. You can dry them like I do. And I do this so I can store them. So um, you can put them in your compost. You can do a lot. So... Just dump it out. This is a new coffee pot that we have, so I'm still getting used to it. Eh, one-handed, doesn't work. And then that just goes back in our coffee maker. Like I said, it's new. So, let's turn the light on so I can see what the hell I'm doing. That's right. We have fluorescent lights in half our house. So, I just spread the grounds out. Put this on the low, so will go. Because you don't really want to cook the coffee grounds. Yeah, one some do on mine. You just want to dry them out. And then, because I don't have compost going yet, I just throw away my filter. And then you just put... The coffee grounds you want to you want them pretty thin because the faster that dries out the better but then you just put them in your stove I don't even let it preheat I just put them straight in and coffee grounds are a wonderful exfoliant by the way I know people say don't wash them down your drain blah 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 it's literally a handful of coffee grounds. It ain't gonna hurt anything. If you're too worried about that, go rinse off your hands outside or wipe them off. It doesn't matter. But this will dry. I normally let it go for a couple hours and then I'll turn it off and I will actually just let the whole pan with the grounds sit in there overnight and just finish drying. It's hot outside. You gotta turn that back on.
And then I will, once they're dried and cooled, I will put them in this bucket, which this is a bucket we got when we worked at, both me and my boyfriend used to work at the same restaurant. We got it when we were working there. Believe it had, yep, fruit salad in it. But I also, my tea bags, when they dry, all I do to dry them is I put the tea bags above the sink. They sit there for a few days, they'll let them dry, I rip open bags, dump them in. But I'll put a small handful, you get tired, baby, of these just on top of my plants. I'll put it in the ground when I plant. I sprinkle it on the yard. I have, it helps. I use it for a lot of things. So this will, I believe, help fix alkaline soil, which is what we have. We got alkaline lake not that far from us. So my banana peels... Mm. Um, all I do is say I'm making banana bread and I have an empty jar. I take my banana peels from peeling my bananas for my banana bread. I just put them in the jar, fill it with water, and just let it essentially ferment. So yeah, it's getting pretty tight in there. But it pulls out, you want down, baby? Let me see, okay. aren't you? Pulls out all the potassium. You can reuse them. Like I said in the la my last video, I have a jar from last year that I'm using still. And then you can also, you can bury the banana peels afterwards. You can dry them, grind them up, and then put them on your ground that way. There's still a bunch of potassium in them. Then my Epsom, or well, the banana, the potassium water, you just pour at the base of your plants. You can dilute it if you want. I don't. Mom. What? I want some What? I want to have some tea. Go get Uncrustable out of the freezer. Just because when I water, it's going to dilute it anyway. So it's outside. It's going to happen. My Epsom salt, it's just plain Epsom salt you buy from the store. Yes, I have it in a goober's jar and I store it. Under my fridge. I buy the big bag, so it's easier to carry that outside when I fertilize than this giant bag. And I also don't know where my bag is. Mom, um, you can put it in the microwave for 15 seconds. Hey, Silas. Push, start, and when it gets to 15, pull it out. Take it out of the wrapper. Frozen uncrustable. He's hungry. But... I just sprinkle it on the grass. I put a little bit at the base of the plants. You can put it in the hole when you plant them. I totally forgot to do that this year. But it helps the plants be able to absorb the nitrogen, the zinc, everything else that they need. And then I have my commercial fertilizer that I normally just use this for my indoor plants, which and then when I'm starting seed, which I'll show you my indoor plants, I have, I believe that's a devil's iris? It's a pathos. I don't know what kind. That aloe vera. My ponytail palm that's in my daughter's room because her room probably gets the most light when I have her curtains open. And it's not in someone's room where he's going to mess with them. Do not eat that in your room. And then I have my aloe in here with that flower. And also when I start seeds, which I need to dump these. My seeds died. We went on vacation. They got cooked. But when I start seeds, I also use it when I water those about once a month. But those are the fertilizers I use, at least right now. I have also used kind of a blood meal, but we deer hunt. And we will package our deer. We, we had roast packaged. I turned the roast into jerky. So I would take the blood from the deer, 
I put it in a watering can, filled the rest of the watering can with water, and just put that on my plants for pretty much a blood meal. So, yeah. See you guys.